Shalom Aleichem, how are you doing? Baruch Hashem. I really want to read, translate, teach you this uh, wonderful Torah, um, Torah 65 in Likute Moran, Rabbi Nachman of Breslev. He brings the wonderful verses um, that we learned from the scroll of Ruth. Vayomer Boaz, Boaz said, to Ruth, you heard that, my daughter, that you should not go and collect, pick up in another field, and also don't stop coming to this one. So Ruth, she was a poor woman, and um, she was a convert. And Boaz, that he owned a field, he invited, he called her to come and to collect the, the, the leftovers, the stalks and grains of wheat that fell um, in time of harvest. We know that the Bible is commanding the owner of the field to leave some, um, the corners of the field and other uh, leftovers as charity to the poor. So Boaz told her, listen, join um, my workers, my, my employees, and don't go to collect in other people's fields. And also when you come to take from my field, don't take one time and then go. Come always. You can always come and always collect, feel comfortable. He gave her the best feeling that she can come and take as much as she needs. Enaich basade asher ikzorun, you need to look on on the to the field whenever my workers are harvesting. Vehalachta chrehen, walk after them. Halotziviti et anarim levilti nogech, and I'm going to command them not to disturb you, not to touch you, only to allow you to collect and to pick as much as you need. <coughs> And if you'll be thirsty, you can go um, and drink from the water that the kids, that the workers are bringing out of the well. So we see the generosity of Boaz helping and supporting Ruth um, with her needs. So based on that um, part of Torah from the scroll of Ruth, Rabbi Nachman is teaching us an amazing, amazing Torah. You should know, Rabbi Nachman is saying, Ki yesh sadeh, that there is a field, we're talking about a spiritual aspect of our lives. There is a field, you should know that there is a field, and there, beautiful and wonderful trees and, and uh, grass are growing. And the greatness and beauty of that field and its crops, you cannot even explain. You cannot even tell. Praise is the eye, praised is the eye who saw that sight. And trees and grass are in the aspect of souls, of holy souls that are growing over there in that field. And there are also few and few naked souls that are moving and, and wandering outside of the field. They're not growing inside the field. They are outside, out of that field. And they're waiting and expecting to be corrected, to be fixed that they will be able to come back and to enter to their place, to their spot inside the field. And also, a great soul, a big, large soul, that on it, on that soul, many souls are leaning and depend on it. Sometimes when that great soul is going to the out, to the outside, it's very, very hard for it to go back. So we see that there is a great field and in that field trees are growing and grass 
And those are souls who are growing in a pure zone, in a holy zone, in a protected zone. And some of the souls, when they're finding themselves outside, out of the field, they are waiting and hoping for their correction, for them to find their original spot inside the field. And also great souls, great um, people might find themselves out of the field, might find themselves, means, for an example, even righteous people, even holy people that were very, very great people that many other souls were depend on them, might find themselves out of the field. And it's very hard for them to find their way back. And them, all of them, are asking and hoping for the Baal Hasadeh, the owner of the field. It's, it doesn't have to be a farmer, but it's like something like a farmer. It's the person who in charge of the field. Everyone are waiting for him that he will be able to correct them, to dedicate time to fix and correct them. And there is a soul, there might be a soul, that her correction will take place by the death of another one or by the effort and the work of another one. You see that the souls are attached and connected to each other and they can be corrected by another soul. For an example, you can hear a story that will inspire you and you now are going to rise and shine because of that story and actually your success in that aspect is as a result of something that took place in the life of another, of another person who put effort to dedicate his life or sacrificed his life for, an, for, for, for a noble cause. And now Rabbi Nachman is adding another part. And the one who wants to put himself to be the owner of the field, to be in charge of those souls, he should be a very strong, powerful, a real hero, strong in tricks of war, wise and great, very large, righteous man. Because you need to be a very great, in very high level, for f to be that owner of that field. So we see that also righteous people are part of the field and there is one person that can become not a great tree inside that field. You would think maybe, okay, Hashem is the owner of the field. Hashem is the farmer. He takes care of the souls. No, there is a farmer. There is a righteous man that is above the field, that he is playing in a different league. Like what we saw about Moses, that even though that Moses was one of the people, he was part of the nation of Israel, he was a son of Yocheved and Amram, the children from a tribe of Levi, and he was their child. And in the end, we saw that he was able to rise and to climb the Mount of Sinai, and over there he went to a spiritual place. He went up to the sky, like the verse is saying, Alita Lamarom. He went up to the highest sky, to the highest heaven. And over there he was arguing with the angels. He was fighting with the angels and he won. So you see that a person is able to become something totally else. Even though that he came from the field, even though he belonged with the people, because of his greatness and his great dedication to the truth and, and, and to his mission, to his life mission, he can find himself rising to become something totally else, like the difference between a farmer to, to, the, to, his, to the trees. Okay? And there is one who tries to be that owner of the field, that he cannot complete his mission just only with his death. 
righteous people who were those ones who were in charge on the generations that were in charge on the correction and the success of the generation means the main righteous person of the generation someone in the aspect of the messiah of the generation someone in the aspect of the redeemer of the generation and every generation and generation we have another one who put himself into that mission to be the one who is in charge and helping and supporting and building like we saw in the beginning of this Torah, that he is in charge on the recovering and on the correction and on the success of all those trees and grass. So it's his job. So some of them are not able to correct the field and to fix all the souls and to bring them to their place inside the holy zone of the field. And they need to die by their death, by their complete the dedication to the truth, even to sacrifice themselves for the will of heaven, they can only that way, only in that way, they can fix all the souls that they were in charge of. But also for that, you need to be very, very great because there are some and some great people that even with their death, they won't be useful enough to correct all the souls that depends on them. So you see that even if a person is ready to sacrifice himself, it doesn't necessarily mean that he will be able to accomplish something so great to fix and to correct all his generation. Just only if there is a person who is so great in such a high, high level, he will be able to correct and to finish what he needs to while he is alive. But with no doubt many difficulties, hard things, and suffering will go, th go, he will go through, will, will pass on him, will, he will go through. But by his greatness and his high level, he will be able to overpower them all and to pass them all. And he will make all the actions of the field, it means he will correct all the things that needs to be corrected like they should be. And when he finally finishing to fix all the souls and to bring them all in to the field, so then in that time, it's a great thing to pray because then the prayer is set and fixed. So when we see that people are joining us when we see that holy souls are joining and gathering and getting inside the zone of Gdusha in the aspect of Baal Tshuva, people are waking up and they also say hey I want to do this hey I want to do that I want to come closer to Hashem then it's the time to pray when you see that people are that people are entering to the holy field means that you can understand from that 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 great righteous man is having that success of his labor, of his work, that he is able to bring back into the field souls that were outside of the field, and then it's a great time to pray. And that honor of the field, he is supervising and putting the effort to water the trees and to rise them, to make them grow and the rest of the things that are needed for the field to remove and r create distance between the trees enough for them to grow properly that one will not deny his friend because sometimes you need to show someone that was very close to you a huge to create a huge distance you need to reject him that he will not deny his friend we can see from that that many of the things that we're going through in life are being supervised by the main righteous man of the generation, that he's the owner of the field. And of course, that like in, uh, in everything, it's written that kingship of heaven is similar to kingship of earth. It means that you can learn from kingship of earth, from our world, from our life, 
on the kingship of heaven, on the structure and order and, and the nature of the divine world that is above us, that we are surrendered to, that is affecting us. So like that in every business or in every um, system on earth, you will have a manager or a captain or a, a chief leader, someone that will be on top and he will have people under him that will be supervisors, that will be um, that that will be officers that will be in a higher level than the rest of the people and in charge and following the commandments of the main righteous one. So you might think that the person that you are close to, he's the main righteous one because you're receiving a lot of light from him. But it doesn't necessarily mean that he is the owner of the field. It can be that people are holding very high positions and are holy and making amazing things in life, but still it does not make them to be that one who is in charge on the correction and complete fixing of the whole generation. The verse is saying, Ki Adam The man he is the tree of the field. And those trees that the farmer, that the owner of the field is taking care of and watering them are the holy souls, are the holy people. And the way to water the tree is with the water of Torah, is with the water of faith, of Emunah. And the water are satisfying the person and bringing a lot of light into his soul and bringing healing and purification to his spirit, to his body, to his inner organs and also to his skin. When a person is drinking from the holy water that comes by the pure hands and with the pure intention of the owner of the field, a person will feel himself recovering, healing, growing, rising and blooming. And when we are trying to find the connection to a right leader, to a righteous person who will affect us in a positive way, we need to look for those amazing feelings. We need to look for the inspiration. We need to look for the satisfaction in Avodat Hashem, like that it's written, Le'olam yilmad adam b'makom shelibo chafetz. Always a person must learn in a place that his heart desire, desires. You need to find satisfaction. You need the books to answer to your desires. You need to feel the passion while learning. You need to feel excited to learn Torah. And if you do so, you are in an amazing place. Because the verse is saying, Pikudei Hashem Yesharim Mesamche Lev. When you're following the commandments of God in a straight way, in the right way, they bring happiness to your heart. Many people are serving the Creator, so to speak, with a heavy heart, being miserable, suffering, not happy, full of pressure, very, very strict and tight and angry. The Baal Shem Tov HaKadosh, the holy, righteous man, Rabbi Israel ben Sara, the grandfather, the great-grandfather of Rabbi Nachman of Breslev, he said that he came for one purpose to this world, to uproot those angry learners. He didn't want people that are angry to sit and learn Torah out of their anger, learning and arguing and fighting with each other. I am right, and you are wrong, and that's what he really meant, and everyone should follow this shita and that method, and that's the right way, and there is no better way than that, and arguing and fighting with their anger and with their bad attributes. The Baal Shem Tov, the head of the Hasidut, the person who brought a huge light to the world and saved lives of, of billions of people, that holy person, said that the only purpose he came to the world for 
is to remove that obstacle of angry learners, of angry scholars that are coming to argue and to fight and to take away the, the satisfaction of life from simple people. So we need to stay away from those angry people and to hold ourselves to the real righteous and pure ones who brings happiness and joy and hope and faith and trust to our hearts and to listen to their advice, to believe in ourselves and to know that there is someone who takes care of us and helping us to grow. And sometimes, like Rabbi Nachman said, there is a need of a great separation, a great rejection, Sometimes you don't know why you have been rejected or your friend been rejected and you have questions and you have doubts on that and you're questioning God and the godly supervision. Why did this happen and why did that happen? Sometimes a tree is growing so high and so wide in such a beautiful way that he needs to have a lot of space to grow. And that's why sometimes you need to uproot a tree from its place and to put him in an empty field and he will feel isolated and he will feel alone and separated from his friends and he will think that he's been exiled from the holy place that he used to, that he loved. But if he will have the patience and will not lose his hope, he will find himself in the end of time that that place was the right place for him. Over there he can bloom, he can rise, he can grow, he can bring out sweet fruits to the world, and the world will enjoy his wisdom and light. Thank you. It's kind of frustrating that I need to be the only one who talks. Maybe we need to start making uh, Zoom, uh, Zoom meetings live on Facebook. I think that there is a way to do that. And uh, it will be so nice. But uh, what are we going to do with all those gangsters who will start talking nonsense on, 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 on the live lectures? What are we going to do? I don't have the power. I don't have the power to have to battle all those crazy ones who are... No! Yes! No! All those angry learners. Ah... Uh, Maybe we're going to continue in this wonderful, quiet way, soothing way, relaxing way. And also we can continue in the middle of the night classes. It's very good. Most of the people are asleep. Only the, the moonwalking, uh, crazy rebels are awake in those wild hours. Middle of the night, you and the wolves are awake, going, looking at the window, staring at the moon, hoping for the redemption, praying to God, crying on the destruction of the temple. Yeah, crazy people are the ones to build the temple. May the Creator bless us all to go and grow and be the one that we've been sent by the Creator to be. And may the blessing of heaven hover upon us all and heal us all completely lunatics, munatics. May Hashem bless us all to recover and to be completely happy, to rise and shine and to bring the day, to bring the day of redemption to the hearts and to the lives of all our loved ones. Amen. May all our prayers be answered. Amen. <laughs> Ah